Hello friends and once again welcome to bhpsolution.com. My name is Amit and today we are going to see another interesting scenario for Oracle Financial Consolidation Closed Cloud. In today's example, I'll be using EPM Automate script and I'll be automating data load process and consolidation process. So this is my EPM Automate script, which is user interactive. So let's see how it works. So I have a script over here, I explain you line by line, and then we test this script. So in this script, I use a couple of variables, and this is user prompt. So set, as you know, is used to declare a variable over here or a parameter, and I'm prompting it. So when I run this uh, batch file, it will prompt user to input the username, password, and the URL, which is we require in order to connect to the application. So the username, password, and URL. And from where we're going to upload this file. So this EPM automated script is going to upload the file, step one, and invoke the consolidation, step two. Let's see how it works first, and then I'm going to explain this line by line. So this is my script. I'm going to run this script from command prompt. And before running this script, uh, this is uh, my file where you could see the sales data for two entities. These are two entities and this is parent entity. The data would be loaded over here and it roll up or consolidate to the parent entity, right? And this is my sample data. This is my sample data for the following accounts. So uh, the accounts, I'll show them both together. We have accounts over here uh, and the data to be loaded into these accounts. So these are the accounts where data is to be loaded, right? So before loading, there is no data into my application and after loading, you will see the data over here. Okay. So let me run the code as an administrator, right click run the code as an administrator. So step one, it is asking me, see this, step one, it is asking me to input the URL of the instance. So I have, a, this is the URL of my instance. I copy this instance URL up to .com and paste over there. So when I run this, this is the first argument. The second argument is asking me to input password. The username is app maintenance and I'm going to put the password. You can encrypt password as well. In the previous example, I taught you how to encrypt password. Then I need to give a location from where the system is going to pick the file and put into inbox and outbox explorer so this is the location of my uh, this is my local file system this is my data file which i'm going to load it so give the look <coughs> location of the file and system is going to pick the file name i hard coded the file the name of my file so enter directory path where your product file or data exist and the system is going to upload this file from this path so so file path is a variable being used over here during upload process epm automate upload file file path and this is the name of my file right when i hit input system is going to execute a step by step first step it will log into my instance epm automate login username which is a variable or parameter password and the url so login successful you see line number one Line number second, system is going to delete the file from inbox and outbox explorer where file path is a parameter. It is failed because the file did not find, then it's going to upload the file. The reason I'm deleting the file from inbox and outbox explorer, it is a good practice so that uh, you ensure that always you're loading a latest file. So file being uploaded and then I'm going to import the data, EPM automate import data, the job name. The job name, this is the job name which I created during application, you can see the list of the jobs in your application because I load data from Inbox Outbox Explorer. You can see there's an object called Import Data. And there you can see the list of the job. This is the job I invoked over here in my batch file. EPM Automate Import Data and the job name, which is my parameter. So data being loaded successfully. After data gets loaded, the next step we are invoking EPM Automate consolidation rule. We are invoking the rule. 
so epm automate run business rule and these are the arguments in my case i am running consolidation for the given entity called north america see this uh, this is my output i am running consolidation for north america for fi 15 january month so these are my arguments uh, running consolidation business rule for north america for the period of january month for fi 15 for scenario forecast so when you run consolidation it takes four argument entity period scenario in year which is january fi 15 scenario is forecast and nt is north america so when this rule will run you see the rule ran successfully right and i use over here exit code if and i use if condition every time the rule runs it returns the error level which is a variable or parameter so if error level is not equal to zero if it is successful it returns zero if it is not equal to zero it entails my rule got failed and it jump all the following instruction and hop to uh, my label called error had it been failed into logging it would have jumped all the subsequent instruction and hop directly to error and would have shown this error message fail to log in or whatever the error code is right now my login successful my delete upload successful my data load job also successful had it been failed it would have skipped all the structure and i put over here exit code with an argument display the error message error level because in my case the last structure is logout all instruction executed successfully right you see all executed successfully you can check the output in two level first look at the output at job application job there you see two jobs one is import data right this this job ran 119 seconds before name of my job see name of my job this job ran and what does this job do this job actually import data and second job is consolidation the consolidation run for which intersection if you manually run this consolidation it asks you the intersection under file rule uh, rule you can see uh, the consolidation rule if i run this is a rule i'm running on the fly now look at the argument when i run this rule it takes four argument run business rule right this is the instruction so first argument the name of my business rule which is consolidate first argument is entity which is north america second is period which is january third is scenario and fourth is here which is forecast and fi 15 respectively and when this rule is launched you can see the status of the rule under your application job it entails your job ran successfully if you go to application job you see in my case my consolidation rule runs successfully two minutes before and here is the output when i refresh this is before data load and after data load the data got uh, input to the level zero member and roll up to the parent the consolidated number you always see at the anti total level so finally this is your batch file and i show you quickly once again what does this batch file do once again so first four lines five lines talk about setting up a variable with a user prompt uh, url username password and file location the fifth parameter take the job file name the job name so my job type is import metadata which i created during uh, import data sorry import data which i created during data load process step one login username password and url which takes from the parameter if had it been failed it would have jumped all the instruction and hop on directly to my label error but in my case it's successfully executed see login successful here login successful this is line number one then second instruction is delete file and upload file delete file fail because the file i'm trying to delete from my inbox and outgo explorer which probably doesn't exist over there you can see under overview inbox and outgo explorer the file right this file is trying to delete it doesn't exist this file right and then after you delete the file we import the file which is instruction number fourth epm automate upload file file path from a local file system and this is the name of my file do you see that the file got uploaded after this i run a job called import data which is my job uh, import data and define the name of the job and the job which i previously created is available over here import job and uh, 
if error come again once again if error level is not equal to zero skip all the instruction and uh, terminate this whole batch file therefore use the exit code after import metadata we run business rule for the following intersection whatever you see in my data file this is for year period scenario and entity this intersection uh, the consolidation rule run right and finally we log out so you see over here the output uh, after data load data load the consolidation run successfully run business rule successfully and as the outcome and finally it logs out so this is your script this is your output this is your script that's it for today thank you should you have any question please feel free to write to bisp solutions.com thank you